Do you want to add Google search to your WordPress website? It's easier than you think. And in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know on how to adding a Google search or custom Google search on your WordPress website. Let's begin. So for this demonstration, I've created this simple website. This is a blog post on the website. And what I want to add is a Google search that appears on these pages, blog pages, so that I can help users find the information they are looking for. That's the intent. Now, how do we actually do this? How do we add custom Google search to our website? Well, the good news is that Google allows or Google has a product or a service which actually allows us to do this without having to go through the trouble of figuring it out. So the, the actual product or service is called programmable search engine. So all you have to do is go to Google search and search for programmable search engine. And the first result you will see is from Google, which is called programmable search engine. I'll click on it and open it up in a new tab. And this is the kind of screen you will see. And all you have to do is click get started and it will log you in through on this service through your Google account. So make sure you're logged in into Google and it will be done. Now, what we are doing is creating a custom search engine engine by Google and defining what websites or what pages this search engine can search. Of course, we want our website to be used. So we'll configure this. So what I'll do is first name it website search, right? You can just name this anything. And then what you want to do is uh, search specific sites or pages because that's the intent, right? You want to have uh, the website or this, this specific search only search the content of your website. If you want to search the entire web like a regular Google search, you can use this option, but I would go by this option. So what I'll do is copy and my URL of my website. This is my website's admin area. And I'll just copy this here and then click add. And this will be added here as a domain name that will be searched. Now, important information here to understand is that you can add multiple websites or pages here. So essentially, if you have two or three websites and you want all the content to be searched on single website, you can do this here as well. Just add more pages or add more websites which you want the search engine to search for. This is a powerful customization feature which you can use. You can also enable image search if you want to and enable safe search if you want to. I'll just enable image search just to give an idea how it looks like. And I'll click I'm not a robot and I'll just click create. And once this is done, the search engine is be created and I'm giving us our, Google gives us a simple script that we can add to our website. It has a unique identifier attached to it. I'll blur it out on the screen. And what you have to do is just click this button here to copy this code on your clipboard. And then we'll go to our website and just integrate this with the help of a simple plugin. So once this is copied to your clipboard, head into the dashboard of your website. So I'm inside the dashboard, the admin area. And what we'll do is install a plugin on our site. So I'll go into the plugin section here and I'll go to add new plugin. And inside the search option, I'll search for a plugin called WP Code. What WP Code allows us to do is add and manage code snippets on our site. So whatever we copied here is a code snippet. So instead of messing with our files of our website, which can be intimidating and it's prone to errors, what we can do is use this plugin to manage or any kind of code snippet that we add. So this is a powerful way to make this happen. So let's activate the plugin and I'll show you how to add this code snippet. All right, so the plugin is now installed. You can see the code snippets menu appear here. We'll go and click the add snippet button. Once it loads, we'll just create a new snippet or we'll create or add the snippet here and configure it. So what WP code allows us to do is also use predefined code snippets that are already created for you, which you can import to your website. Since we are just using a new snippet or we already have the snippet, I'll just go to add your custom snippet. I'll click this button and this will open up the actual snippet builder and snippet configurator. Now, there are a couple of settings we need to configure here. So pay attention to the screen. First, what I'll do is I'll paste or I'll just uh, uh, wait or do the pasting activity in the le uh, at the end of every configuration and then you'll understand what's happening. So make sure the code snippet is set to a universal snippet. This is important. Then once you go here, now, just to clarify here, we are using the free version of WP code, which does have some options, but the pro version has more features, which will be more powerful. And you can choose which pages you want to add the custom search engine on. So if you are interested in doing specifically that, that only these pages should get the search engine, all you have to do is upgrade to WP code, uh, WP code pro and you'll have those options here. So in the insert method, I'll stick to auto insert and I'll click this option, which will reveal all the inserting options. Now, this is where you see that I have the site-wide header site-wide body, site-wide footer, and I can also go 
page specific, right? So you can insert before post, insert after post, insert after excerpt on category pages. You can select a lot of things. And the pro version, you have even more control over what you want to do. And we also have, or WP Code also has e-commerce related features that you can do. So you want to add the search engine after product summary, before the product list. So there's tons of options in the pro version. So this is what I was trying to clarify that this is what you can do. What I'll do is go to page specific and I'll do it and insert before the content or insert before the post, right? You can experiment with this to exactly see where the location is coming up. And once this is done, uh, nothing else needs to be configured. But if you want to, you have condition logic in the pro version that you want to have certain pages excluded and all that, that's completely doable. Once everything is done, we'll paste the snippet here. So I'll come back here. I'll press control V and the snippet is now pasted inside the code snippet. I'll just activate it by clicking this button here. This will activate the code snippet and I'll click save snippet. Once the snippet is saved, you see this option here and we can just go back to code snippets menu here just to see if the code snippet is visible and you can see it, it's called untitled. So I can just name it as well. So if I want to edit it, I can go back and I can say, hey, custom search engine, right? I can just say custom search engine. I'll update the post or update the snippet and go back to code snippets. And now you can see the custom search engine has been done. Now you might be wondering where these, these templates or these code snippets come. These are added by default, but don't worry, they are disabled. So you, they are not enabled on your site. This is just to give you an idea how these snippets actually look like once they are added to your site. Now, once this is done, you don't have to actually do anything. Just go back to your website, choose a refresh, and you should see the code snippet now coming up here or not the code snippet, the actual search option coming up here. So now you can make a search on the site and you can see uh, all the kind of different variables coming in. And if you have content on the site, you can make the search as well. Now, let's say if you don't like the position of this, you want to make sure or place it somewhere else on the screen. All you have to do is go back and change the insertion location. So once this is loaded, let's go down here and you can say, hey, insert before post is selected. We'll say that, hey, insert before paragraph. So paragraph number two. So we can also do this. I'll update the post. And what the snippet or will do is now before the second paragraph, this code snippet or this specific search engine will start showing up. So once this is done, I'll go back to the post and refresh it. And now this is the first paragraph and before the second paragraph, now you see the search engine is now added. That's how easy it is to add custom code snippets or not custom code snippets, but custom search engines with the help of custom code snippets and WP code on your WordPress website. This is Google's custom search engine, but you might have a use case where you have an e-commerce website and you want to control the search behavior, what's being searched, what's being shown, and what's the weightage like for titles. And you want to control the search behavior completely. Very important for websites where the search can be a make or break experience. Now imagine going to amazon.com and the search not working, right? It completely breaks the experience. So if you have that kind of a website where search is absolutely important, I want to give you an alternative uh, solution as well, which might be useful to you. So going back to the admin area of my website, I'll just go back to the dashboard and you'll notice I have a plugin installed on my website called Search WP. I'll just open the website for you first, just to show you what it is. You can also Google Search WP and you'll find this website here. Search WP is a fantastic WordPress search plugin. It's dedicated to WordPress search and it allows you to customize your WordPress search like no other product out there. It supports custom fields. So any data or uh, information stored in custom fields can be searched. E-commerce related search can be done. So uh, any kind of product attributes, product information can be searched. You can search uh, uploads, so PDF documents, and you can uh, use custom tables and also search for tax names and short codes. This is a very, very big outreach from how WordPress search be behaves and gives you more control over how you can utilize or customize search on your site. Now, this is not a free plugin. You can go to the pricing, check out, I'll place the link on the screen as well. But what I've done is install this plugin search WP on my site. And I just want to give you a quick demo on the features rather than giving you a complete demonstration of setting it up. So if I go to the algorithm option here inside search WP, you'll notice that I have a sort of an engine here, which I can customize. So just to give an idea here, I can customize how posts are searched. Here I can customize how pages are searched. Here I can customize how media is searched. So if I just, if I collapse this, you see, I can do this. And if I have an e-commerce website, I can add products, custom products, landing pages, and I can customize how every or every kind of post or post type is actually searched. 
just to give a simple example this is the post section where i can customize the attribute of posts or which attributes of posts are searched and how they are prioritized in the search right now the only attributes that are added are title content slug excerpt and author but you can add and remove attributes and you can also add and edit rules so let's say for example you want to exclude a few pages from the search you can do that so there's so many control related options here which you can use to customize your search behavior now just to give an example right now the title has a very high priority in the search but the content has minimum priority but obviously that's not something that i would like to have i would like the content also to have a little bit of a high priority i can do this i would also have let this slug have a moderate priority except having the minimum priority or i can just say hey i'll just not i don't need the excerpt to be searched entirely i just click done and that's gone and i even don't want the author to be searched but let's say for example the author search is something important to you so you can just remove or reduce the uh, overall relevance in the search based on the author and once this is done i'll just click save and my search behavior is now completely customized on your site and think about this you can do this for posts you can do this for pages you can do this for e-commerce pages that means products custom fields documents anything that you have on your site so if you have a lot of content and search is the primary way users actually find your content this is a great investment for your wordpress website and they have tons of tutorials available on the website where you can go and understand the documentation how to configure everything i've just given you a small preview of how powerful this plugin is so whatever solution you think is the best for you maybe the programmable search engine by google is a great solution use that or you can uh, invest in search wp and customize the search experience completely on your wordpress website all right that's it for this video if you have any questions the comment box is open otherwise like share subscribe spread the good karma out there and for more wordpress tutorials don't forget to subscribe i'll place a couple of extra videos on the screen which you can watch to enhance your wordpress education you're watching yuvraj from wp canner i'll catch you in the next video take care